cube. Flip side, or second side of this record. Alright, this is Friday. Uh, I had to wait for the plumber this morning, but it rained, so uh, I think I, I taped this earlier in the van, but I didn't tape anything downtown, so I'm not going to use that footage. Uh, this is uh, uh, Friday, as I already said. Anyway, uh, I waited for the plumber. He didn't come because it started raining, so I didn't go to Blooming Valley Yard Sales or to Meadville, because I'm so far over there I was going to go anyway. And uh, anyway, I went to town, found a few good items in town, I believe. Let's see, first, the first trip to Goodwill, the second trip didn't pan out at all, so I didn't get nothing. Uh, uh, uh -oh. I had a few books that were half price this time. Two more Carter Brown man or paperbacks. Uh, I sold the other two, but these I'd left down there because they weren't selling as good as the others, so I, I may lock these up. And Alana Kerner. I figured somebody made the flea market give me a couple bucks for it. I really not supposed to buy that stuff. I don't need any more cheap stuff for the flea market. I've got totes full of it. And I got this. Defining Moments in Movies. And it's really a thick book. I look through it, then probably sell it. I did not look it up. I doubt, highly doubt if it's worth a lot or anything that, for that matter. All right, and then I got a few things at the two bit store. Which one was the shirt? I'm gonna sell three bucks. I figure somebody might like the bright pink. Uh, you need a farmer three times a day, not if you don't eat breakfast. And a Harry Potter book that'll go on a cheap tart for a couple bucks. Leave the sticker on it, and I got this glass, which I think is cool. I can't remember what it was now. Good thing to have a bad memory. You get surprised. But, dang. Oh, it's Capone's Dinner and Show. It's a little worn at the bottom. It's got that cool black artwork, a little cigarette girl. It says cigars and cigarettes. So, pretty neat. Can you see it good? How's the lighting? Poor. Uh oh, I got shot. It's kind of plumber getting back to me. Uh, did I check to make sure this was on? Oh, thank goodness. Alright, one more bag of goodies. Oh, we got. I, uh, I went in the store by the park, but then uh, Endless Summer was had their junk out for sale, so I found this guy. So he should be up. We need a thumbnail. This is probably be as good as any. Except for I do have something else I'd rather have be the thumbnail. But, uh, somebody got 25 bucks for one of these. Boy, well, look for the other van, the real ventralist doll for this. It's pretty expensive. This is Goosebumps, by the way. I don't remember his name. Dummy. Uh, this all came from the other store by the park, and I think I scored a couple cool things. Uh, Lady Run at one, this one item. Uh, sorry, my nose is running. So we got allergies or COVID or a bunch of everything. Um, I got this just in case I decide I want to carry soup to the flea market, which I doubt. So I'll probably, I don't know, I paid a buck for it. So. And then I got, I got rid of, I sold that monkey I had hanging on my canopy. So I got a spider, which I said something to the lady down there. It looks a lot like a bee. I'm wondering if they uh, put wings on it and sold it in the springtime and then at Halloween it was a spider. No, I don't know. I'll probably just hang it up in my canopy. I have that other spider. I have that giant spider out in the porch. I should put that up there. Uh, I got this guy. Uh, I can't find what is in there. There's Zibbies. He's only like eight bucks originally. I figured maybe I could get two bucks. So another thing I don't need to resell. Uh, I put some of them back, so I at least have some self-control. Do I? Uh, I always like to find these guys. They had a Franken or. Uh, you know, like a, a, a Dracula bear. I did not take him. I lined up okay. I like the Reaper guy. So. Uh oh, I forgot to check. Alright, and then I got SpongeBob Frankenstein. Uh, the lady running working today really wanted him, but she said it was for her husband because he hates SpongeBob. And I said, well, that clinches it. I'm taking it because I like the SpongeBob and I want him. I would highly doubt he's worth a lot of money or anything, but he's really cool. Uh, I'll use a buck fifty, so it's a good deal too. All right, now everything else is glass because I need more glass. But 
I bought a couple things for myself that were cheap. Uh, and I wanted a couple things I did not look up. I bought something for an auction acquaintance and his lovely wife, my friend, his wife. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he can use it. It was a box. It's a sugar dispenser, but he could probably use it. They have different consignments, you know, or, uh, you know, food things. So. He wanted, I told me he wanted uh, Parmesan shakers, but that might work for depends on sugar on your donuts or whatever you're selling. Uh, got this little bear. He was down there, like, beginning of the week. But he's, it was a dollar, but he's got a little some hole in his head, like, maybe for smoke, but I wonder if maybe he sat on an ashtray and he got broke, because inside there, you probably can't see, there's a, looks like a metal insert or something, and there's a, and there's a slot in there, so it looks like it might have fit down on something. So I thought maybe an ashtray you put your cigarette in. Anyway, kind of cool. Uh, this jar is uh, orange blossom honey, Florida orange blossom honey. But see, it's got an uh, orange blossom inside this jar. Somebody put it in there. It was two bucks. I think somebody may want that. It's kind of neat. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if it'd survive mailing it, though. It's, um, hmm. Looks like they, oh, they punched a hole in the cardboard liner and stuck it in that way. Uh, is that even, that's not even a real, that's a plastic. <laughs> they feel pretty cool, though. I'll probably find out it's not a rarity or anything. And they had this little green cup. It's a little small for coffee, but... This is a. This is not Batman. This is like Pink Panther or something. Like that. Reminds me of Inspector Closer. Now, this is Fiesta. Uh, I think that's a big F. I think the big F's are the earlier ones, but it has the MLC at the top, too. Which, or uh, not MH, it's H. Homer Locked. Um, I heard a lot, some of these are radioactive, right? The clay or something? I don't know. All right, and then, all right, not that one. Save the best for last, what's supposedly the best. Okay, I got this baby bottle. It's got a regular, like, bottle cap type stopper. But it's got a, uh, a, an embossed baby, and it was kind of hard to try to find it, so I paid two bucks anyway. Hopefully it's worth something. Uh, then I got these two bottles. They don't look like much, do they? But they have little images on oh, sorry. They were two bucks a piece, too. They have little embossed characters on the bottom. They're from Howdy Doody, probably Welch's. Uh, I wasn't going to buy them, and then I just scanned, just I just Googled the, one of the cartoon characters, and it came up, and I, I found not one of these two, but another one sold for like 20 bucks, but it was all, the bottle was all sick and gross. I don't know if these are the original caps. They look like some of you may have just put them on there. They're brown. There's no printing left on them. So. Uh, the one that sold didn't have any cap. All right, and then finally, the f oh wait, no, whoa, 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 almost forgot. Oh no, that's a sugar dispenser. Sorry. Finally, the last thing. I didn't think it'd be worth much because it's a screw cap, but it's an infant's baby bottle. It's got the end, you know, the end, the, the <laughs> integrated back. Uh, but uh, I. I looked, I looked this up, and uh, it seems like they made a lot of bottles. It's uh, Samuel Pee Wee Herman, Big Top Pee Wee, or not Big Top Pee Wee. <laughs> it's the beginning of Pee Wee Herman, right? When they're going through all the stuff for his breakfast. Uh, Samuel Calais Company, Pittsburgh, PA. But I'm pretty sure I saw one that sold for eighty some dollars. So there you go. I'm going to answer my stepdaughter's call. And uh, that'll do it for this moment. All right, uh, this is Saturday. I just got the van loaded. I'm tired. I've been up since pretty early this morning. Went yard sale. Went to Blooming Valley. I told somebody I was going to Bloomsburg. 
Uh, then I went to Meadville, Salvation Army, which was a boss. Had a few things in my cart, two tapes, a record, and a Betty Boot Cup. And I put it all back because I had like probably eight, nine people in line. And they only had one register open. And I just didn't need to stop. Everything but the Betty Boop will probably still be there next time I get over there. Uh, Bloom the Valley panned out pretty good because I ended up buying like over 70 CDs at the one sale, uh, which I got a bargain on. Well, I got a little off on. But I probably, if unless I'm getting too tired, I'm going to have a slideshow after this of that crap. So I hope you enjoy it. Won't be much. I still have to get to bed for a flea market. But I have to, I have to do something with them because I want them ready for the thing tomorrow. So, uh, I'll just show you the stuff I got at all the other sales, which is kind of... I got this stuff at the other store in Meadville. And I got... Oh, not that. Uh, I got... Sam Kennison, complete. One is, uh, they both say, look like they're the same thing, but they're not. Uh, they should be worth, I don't know, 40 bucks, 50 bucks maybe for the both. I'm, I'm guessing if I have to check them again. Uh, I had this George Carlin, all my stuff. It was five bucks, but it looks like there's no, there should be a booklet I would assume in here, but it's, it's a big set and there's two CDs and, or two discs in each of these flaps, one behind the other. It's a weird packaging. It, uh, hold on a second. <laughs> hold on, George. Cooperate. See, so you uh, get the other one. This just lifts out of this case. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So if it ever breaks, you have a crappy case. I got a Celtics or Celtics thing on. I think it's. It was three bucks. I think it's worth at least twenty for resale plus, uh, you know, uh, shipping. And then Sam Kennison, so that's what I got over there. That's all. They didn't have any new records. Uh, I think they had two new records, but not worth buying. I think I got these at the flea market, I think, last Sunday, and I don't know if I showed them. I have Ambush on VHS, uh, and Sinbad, the Eye of the Tiger, Patrick Wayne, that's John Wayne's son right there, Gene Seymour. And frogs. I got, yeah, I did get these. I don't think I showed these. I think I showed the records I got. This has Ray Millen, Ray Millen that he was in a, a man, or the Invisible Man, and Sam Elliott was in them. Probably before he had a mustache. And then uh, one of the sales I stopped at, the guy's stuff is all cheap. I got these block of tapes for 50 cents. I got this Eeyore mug. I got a Seaha or Seawolves uh, tin cup. Uh, blue glass. Maybe I'll give it to my buddy Jim. Maybe I not. Maybe he doesn't deserve it. Got the Seawolves uh, glass. Uh, Monica was gonna get that, and then she gave it to me to buy. Uh, also got this guy at that guy sale. Um, what is this? 2023 Colt Keith. I don't know who that is. I also got this nice Smurfs mug for a buck at one of the sales, along when I got, uh, I do not remember, oh, this Flintstones glass, it's got, uh, Pebbles, it's blue, Pebbles, Dino, and Fred, and they're swimming, it's doesn't, uh, Pebbles at the beach, a little bit of stuff here, it might be just dirt, this mug is really neat, I'd keep it for coffee if it was a bigger little mug. <laughs> Not big enough. Um, I got a couple tapes at the one sale, which I only see one of them. The other one's in the van, probably. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Yeah, it's in the van, I think. Uh, this one, I don't know why I grabbed it. Sherbert Magazine. They were free at a sale. And the other was uh, Aria Speedwagon, High Infidelity, you know, along with all the hits. Uh, I got these at the sale with where the CDs were. Uh, they were a buck each. Uh, all three of these are for good for resale, but I think yeah, this is Tom in the future. Uh, I decided to over double a little bit of this because the uh, Dance the Night Away by Van Halen was a little loud. I thought I had it turned down pretty good, but probably be, might be a few more of these popping up. But anyway, I'm just showing these three videotapes. They're kind of worth eBay, and they were made in the early 2000s, so a little scarcer. Anyway, back to this babbling idiot that you've been watching. Kind of rare. It's also from 2004. I think I have the first one in the shed. It's probably pretty common. Uh, and this was a quarter somewhere. 
I want to say, isn't it the white lion, the one they, the Lion King ripped off, Kimba? He's a white lion. Yeah, seriously, if you find, I don't know if it is Kimba, I think it's called Kimba, look it up, it's uh, surprisingly a lot like the Lion King. Uh, one of the sales had these Infinity guys, uh, I got Black Widow, I think that is, and uh, Thor, and uh, Iron Man, so I don't know if they're worth much, they were cheap. Uh, Britney CD, I could get a couple bucks for it. That's the other place with all the CDs had a bunch of her, but I didn't get. There was probably another hundred CDs, and uh, most of them were, there was a lot of rap, there was a lot of Britney Spears, there was uh, some U2. I didn't buy some of that stuff. Uh, I grabbed I grabbed a few I wished I would have left, and I think I mixed a few up because I was trying to get through them. There were so many, and they were in crates stacked in there, and I had to dig through them. Uh, these little Marvel and DC metal guys, or maybe they're all, they might be all DC, they're all uh, Marvel. I wonder how loud that music is, I'm going to get a copyright for Van Halen. I bought this off one of, uh, Lou that does auctions and stuff, uh, he had records, this, I bought this off him. It's really dirty looking, I cleaned it, it seems to be okay, I don't have it up really loud now. It's a little crackle at the beginning. Uh, one sale had some cards, uh, they were Pokemon, they were ten for a buck, so I dug in and took most of the foil ones, but they had a lot of wear. I really don't know anything about Pokemon, so I really didn't need them. I was just buying them because a little kid was selling toys, so I thought I'd buy them. Oh, there's Aria Speedwagon. Um, did I, have I been showing you guys this? I don't even know if I showed anything. Did I? <laughs> I don't know. No, I got talking too quiet, like you're in the room, and I forgot I had to actually stick it up there. Uh, there was one cassette where I got the CDs, and it's back, Odelay. I was hoping it'd be pretty rare. It's from 93 or 96? Might be 96. I don't remember now, but uh, it's like a $15 tape uh, on eBay. I'm probably going to put five on it from the flea market. Maybe some of y'all want it. It's a good tape. I, I gave up all my CDs because I hadn't been playing them. Ah, uh, now is that all? Am I babbling? I think. Yeah, so I didn't pick up much. The CDs were the big deal. The big, oh, I got these, uh, one place did have some records. They were 50 cents each. Got this one. And I got another bunch. There's a bunch in this folder. I had some of these. I think they're worth money if you want to list them, but I tried taking them to the flea market. No luck. I don't know what's in there. I think there's like a George Strait and stuff that's actually got some value. I assume because probably a lot of the records, radio stations, when it gets up to, like this is 87, they were starting to change formats maybe. And I think Strait was, I don't know where, where Strait was. The ones I had were, uh, yeah, I don't even remember what they were. I thought this Richard Chamberlain album, I've never seen this, it's a soundtrack. Twilight of Honor. And who else is in it? Richard Chamberlain singing, blue guitar, and they live to be close to you. Uh, I don't know who the girl woman is. Uh, Joey Heatherton. Introducing, this is Joey Heatherton's first movie. Joan Blackman, Claude Rains. <laughs> James Gregory. Uh, directed by Boris Segal. I'm not saying in relation to Katie Segal. Segal? Segal? So anyway, this is probably a good five dollars spent. I'll turn it up now that I'm done make, doing this video. Now I, I guess I got to do the dumb CDs now. I don't know how they're gonna come out. So I'll be just do that old stage show thing again. Steal somebody's stage show thing off YouTube for the background. I was trying to find my little flashy light, but I can't find it, so it may not get extra thrills in this one. So. Anyway. Uh, this should finish out the video. I don't know what I'm going to do with my flea market. I get kind of tired of filming up there, but I don't really get good footage. So, anyway, uh, take care of yourselves. Bye, and I uh, hope you enjoy the CDs.